Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. Let's look at rulers and guides in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, this is a new update and it's a very useful one anytime you're trying to align things on the program monitor. It's not in the source monitor, only in the program monitor. If you're used to using um, guides and rulers in Photoshop, in Illustrator, even in After Effects, then you'll be familiar with them here in Premiere Pro. You can import your guides from After Effects into Premiere Pro. Let's have a look. So in this example, I've got two titles that I want lined up. I've got a logo on the top and some text that's right justified or right aligned. And here, I need the same thing, but I like, like to know where those are. I want them to be the same. In the view menu, and you have to make sure that you have the program monitor selected in the view menu, you can show the rulers and you can show guides. Right now, show guide, I have that on. Show rulers, there are no guides in here uh, right now. You'll notice that when I mouse over a vertical or horizontal ruler, I get a cursor change where I can click and drag out a guide and position it on the screen. If I turn this button on, Snap in Program Monitor, that's also in the View menu, Snap in Program Monitor. Now when I drag something, now when I drag something along here, you'll see it will snap to that. And I think that's a little bit too tight to the top. If I hold the Control key on Windows, the Command key on the Mac, I'm using the down arrow to position that. So now I could drop in another guide right here. The guides won't snap to objects that are in here. That's something that is missing. It's only snapping the objects to the guide after the fact. By the way, all the videos in this tutorial were provided by Adobe Stock, the number one supplier of stock images, video, illustrations, motion graphics, templates, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project. Okay, but here's the usefulness of this. Now when I come over to the other graphic, I can line that up. Oh, it looks like my logo is already lined. No, my logo is a little bit different. Actually, I, let me drag another one at the bottom of the logo so I can have that spacing there. All right, all right. All right, I'll line that. And over here, I'll align that to that top guide, but I need to justify this to the right. So I'll go to my graphics workspace, select that text and align that or justify that correctly over here. All right, I'm gonna go back to my editing workspace And now when I go between these two, you can see they line up. And if I turn off my turn off the guides, turn off the rulers, now I've got a nice clean look where I can see both of these showing up perfectly. There's also some built-in ones here. Let me clear those guides out. There's one for safe margins, so you can place your graphics in safe margins. This would be the same as right-clicking and choosing safe margins here. They're positioned in the same way, except they're parts of part of a guide. Now, if you're wondering how to delete one of these, all you have to do is drag it off and it will delete. Once it's off of that area, it will delete. This is the safe margin one. It doesn't mean I've wrecked this one. When you choose to add a guide, safe margins, it adds it to this. So you're, if you're thinking I chose safe margins, but I moved safe, safe margins, did I delete safe margins? No, you didn't. Choosing one of the, the presets that you save adds those guides, that's all. So let's make a new one. Let's clear those guides. And maybe I want one to be a lower third. 
I'm using the keyboard shortcut Control R on Windows, Command R on Mac just to direct to show my rulers. So I could drop this down in here. Let's go to a clear area where this is. Maybe like that and like that. In the view menu, guide templates, save guides as a template. So I'm saving these new guides and I'll call this lower third. Now when I grab a rectangle and I draw it in here, then I can draw it in this area. One thing that I wish it would do is I wish it would snap while I'm drawing it. It does not. It only snaps after you've drawn this. Now it will snap into place. We can lock those guides. So now I'm not going to accidentally move that guide. If you're, if you're using the handles to resize this, they do not snap. So you'd have to eyeball that. Now on the left hand side, if you click on the ruler, if you right click on the ruler, you can set it, the, by default it's at pixels, you could set it at, as a percentage. And this is useful for a lot of people that design a program monitor based on the percentage, not exact pixels like 30% from the bottom, or if you're adding uh, uh, maybe picture in picture and you want four up, you could easily divide that into quarters. Also, if you right click and choose add guide, you'll get the add guide dialog box and you can choose whether it's top or bottom, what is the position of where it is exactly on the screen, and you can again use pixels or you can use percentage whether it's horizontal or vertical, and you can even choose a color. So you could use these guides as color coding wherever they are. Now I can't move that, remember, because I have my guides locked, so I could unlock my guides. So maybe you want some guides in here that are different colors for different reasons. Oh, there it is down there. So now I've got two different colors, two different guides, that you could use for any type of indication of how you're designing your program monitor. And then the last thing in the view menu, manage guides. Here you can see all the guides that I've set. You can rename the guides. You can import, export, delete these and share them and bring them in and make them very useful. So if you're working on multiple machines, then you can easily import your guides from another system. If you're working for a larger organization with some strict guidelines, guidelines, uh, you could save these uh, on a local server, have everybody load them in on their system. So everybody's running their same Premiere Pro with the same guides to help them design something correctly in the program monitor. All right, this is a long time feature that people have asked for. It's finally here, rulers and guides inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, why not subscribe, please? If you want to support us more, you can do that through PayPal. We love our wonderful PayPal supporters. There's a link in the description of this video and one on the front of the channel. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best with new rulers and guides in Adobe Premiere Pro.